Well, hi, it's Cindy. And today we're gonna to talk about giving ourselves a spa manicure. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I need to save a few dollars. <laughs> I love getting my nails done. I love going to the nail shop and getting a manicure, getting a pedicure, getting them shaped, getting those cuticles removed and walking out with beautiful polished nails. But there's been a few things that happened to me this month. I've got to get my dog her shots. I got to get tags, got to get smog. I had to fix my car because in my last video, it was like raining in my car and it rained quite hard here in California and we have to fix our back room. We found um, it, it needs to be fixed. It, it got rained and it got a little flooded a little bit. So we need to fix that. So I need to save a few dollars in my pocket. So I'm going to give myself a manicure. Now, a spa manicure we all is for people with natural nails. And I thought about it. I thought about it was not just to save money. We can do this in between our nail services. If we got somewhere to go and you got natural nails and they can't take you in, at least you have a few items that you can give yourself a natural manicure at home and still feel great about your nails. The other thing is some people are removing their acrylics and they're starting to give themselves natural nails, you know, and you can keep them up. Some people like to do them at home. And I'll give you some ideas. I had a friend, she had acrylics, but she loved giving herself a pedicure. I had another friend who loved getting her pedicures done and she does her own nails at home because I was sitting at the nail shop. Somebody came in for pedicure, but she had natural nails. And the girl says, manicure and pedicure? She goes, no, just a pedicure. She goes, I give myself uh, a manicure at home because I like to relax and think about things. And I thought, wow, that's right, a spa nail. And of course, like I said, in between the nail service or to save a few dollars. So what are you going to need to have that done? Well, you're going to need acetone polish remover to remove your nail polish. This also has wheat protein and vitamin E because they don't, a lot of these companies, they don't wanna thrash your nails, but it does break down the nail polish, removes the nail polish at the same time, not to remove our nail bed, okay? But what happens if you're allergic to acetone? Well, you wanna use a non-acetone polish remover. It says it's great for artificial, why? Because it doesn't mat down the artificial nail. But the only difference from the non-acetone to an acetone, this may, this is very gentle. So it's gonna take a little bit, probably two or three times to remove the nail polish. I notice when I get one of these, you're gonna flip it over. And when it's non-acetone, I'll go over it and there's still nail polish and I might have to do it again. So I'll use up quite a bit, but it's because it's non-acetone. So it doesn't break down as quickly and it's not as hard as your nails. So they do have acetone and they have a non-acetone. Okay, what's the next thing I'm gonna need? Emery boards. So this is a regular old emery board that's been up forever. I'm not hard on my nails, so I just gently shape them. Some people don't like these. I don't mind them, they're inexpensive. I put them in my purse, I put them in my travel bag, but I also have a buffer cushion nail. And you can find these anywhere. You can find them at Walmart. You can find them at, at Sally's Beauty Supply. They're more gentle, a little more gentle than this. But I got this for like 19 cents and I got like a pack of seven for like 99 cents for these. They do have crystal files um, and some others. Just don't get the really, really rough ones. It'll break your nails. It'll brittle them. It'll break into pieces. So just make sure you're gentle on your emery boards. You're gonna need, now this was pretty cool. This is called Super Nail Cuticle Softener and Remover. This removes extra cuticle on your nail, nail bed because you're gonna push them back. And I got this at Sally's and I think I only spent, let's say $2.99. So it softens them and removes your cuticle. You're gonna need a cuticle pusher. There's cuticle sticks that they also carry. They didn't have it when I went to Sally's the last time, but it's called cuticle stick, or I got this one has the rubber and I push back my cuticles back. You're gonna need one of these. I think this was no more than $4. They've got expensive ones. They've got very professional ones, but 
you know, for yourself, you just need a cuticle stick or something inexpensive, a cuticle pusher. I like using these little tools, cuticle, to remove my cuticle. But if you're not going to feel like you're not going to be safe with it, don't use them because they can cut. But I, I do like them, but I'm very careful and I watch what I do. But I do use this and they've got an expensive one all the way to like $50. I mean, they've got some really expensive one. And a lot of manicures use them. You're going to need a base coat to strengthen your nails. Now, this is Sally Hansen. I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm very, very happy with this. This is Sally Hansen Maximum Growth. I got this at Walmart. They're at Sally's. They're at Target's. They're almost everywhere. I got this for $6.64. I really love this because it's triple protein. It conditions my nails, helps control breakage. It's got the silk formula to um, strength as well. It proves my nail bed. And I love them because I noticed that my nail are growing so much better. Now, there is a lot of nail strengthener, but I've just been very happy with this. And what I wanted was something that helps control breaking my nails from breaking, from splitting. I wanted something that wasn't cracking. And this Maximum Growth has taken care of all of that. So I've been very pleased with it. You're going to need nail polish. So there's OPI polish. There are Sally Hansen polish. And this one was pretty cool. This one has Aragon oil. This is brand new with Sally Hansen. Um, this one is, what's the color of this one? Has Aragon, Aragon oil in it. Oh my God, I can't read this. It's called Raisin. Raisin, oh, Raisin the Bar, I think it's called. I love it. It's like a rose gold. It's brand new. Now, this one, it says normally it's $9.39. I got it on sale at Target for $7. But again, it's a Therapy Instant Moisture Nail Polish. So that's new with them. Let's see. You're going to need a top coat. There's different top coats. The top coat that I use is the Quick Dry Glass Shine Top Coat. I got this at Walmart. This one, I think it was $3.88. It's a nail aid quick dry glass shine. It's a fast dry top coat created for natural nails. It's unbreakable glass technology, offers two benefits, fast drying, great shine, and super hard finish. I love it. So it's been working for me. And it says it can last up to 16 days. It makes your nail polish last up to 16 days. Oh, and by the way, my nail polish. I do sometimes wear the darker colors. This is China Glaze. This is China Glaze. I think I picked this up by accident. And then this one here is OPI, okay? The China Glaze and OPI I love. I like, I'm not really particular on my nail polish. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because a lot of times I'll use dark, but I know that a lot of times when they start to chip, your manicure doesn't look as well. So a lot of times I use more of a sheer polish. So they when they chip it's not as noticeable okay and i think this one is um rosy future by opi i love it okay and then this one here is more of a coral and this is by china glaze and this one is let me get my glasses on this one is sun out burns out no sun out buns out <laughs> sun out buns out so that's this one. This is by China Glaze, and it's a more of a light frost. So I have different ones, but I'm not, I don't have like a galore of nail polishes. But again, I love the darker um, colors on my pedicure, and I keep it more sheer on top so that when they chip, they're not as noticeable. Let's see. And then sometimes people like to use these dry spray nail polish um seals in the polish to, like a dry spray so you get your nail polish your nail polish on your top coat all that and then you spray this on and then it just makes them dry quicker yeah, this one's got the it conditions the cuticles conditions the nails and it's fast drying and i got this at walmart and i think i got it for like two dollars and 88 cents i don't really use much of this anymore since i've been using this top coat okay and a little hand lotion. <laughs> a 
little swab hand lotion that I have here. So my husband likes to use this for his for his hands, but I kind of moisturize my hands and then I go wash them so the oil's not on my nail bed. So when I use my base coat, the base coat will stay on, my two, two coats of polish will stay on, and then my top coat. And that's it. So now I'm gonna do one hand and then it gives you an idea um, about a quick manicure. And that's gonna be next. Okay, so the first thing, you always wanna use your emery board when your nails are dry. You don't want to um, shape your nail bed while, while they're wet. That's why a lot of manicurists are shaping one hand and the other one, they'll shape one hand and then they'll put that in water and then they'll shape the other. So you can tell, I'm just really, I square them off and I'm, I'm really gentle. I'm gonna try to do this while you're watching. I just kind of take it across. You can shape them, you know, an oval or um, I just won't do the pointy, but that's up to you. And I'm just taking a little bit, I'm barely touching them. Now, the reason why I was talking about the maximum growth is because I feel like my nails are growing so much better and I'm letting them kind of grow out. I noticed like, this one's a little shorter because I broke it, but I noticed that they're growing so much better. And I also, I'm taking Biotin. And I think it's 500 milligrams for hair, skin, and nails, but that's also helping. And I also take collagen peptides. But right now we're talking about doing your nails at home. If I have like a little rigid, I may just take it and kind of glide it a little bit and just do that. A lot of times manicures, they buff them out. I'm not going to do all that because I want to make it simple and easy. But do you see how I'm just doing that? I'm just barely shaping them. I'm not going back and forth, back and forth. That's hard on your nails. Let me go this way so I can see. Okay. And then this side. Now, do you see my nail bed? I get a lot of cuticles, a lot of cuticles. So I'm going to, let's pretend I'm going to soak my nail. And it's warm, got a little bit of um, soap in it, like a regular body, body shower gel in it. And I would usually soak, soak them for at least five minutes. And I'm watching TV or reading a book. And then let's pretend it's five minutes, okay? I take them out. And then I'm going to wipe them down. Okay, my ring. I've lost some weight, they go around circles a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my little cuticle softener. And I'm just going to take a little bit here. A lot of times you go to a manicure, they just take a little cuticle stick, but that's okay, I'm here at home. I'm going to rub it around. Put probably a little too much, a lot of time, but that's fine, I'm here. Okay, and I'm gonna take this, now my cuticle bed is soft. I'm gonna take this and work around and I'm gonna to try to push them back. Let me get all this out of the way. It's kind of hard doing it this way, so I'm gonna go like that. And the cuticle sticks is a little bit more firmer. I'm just a bit more, might be honest with you, my skin's a little softer, so they bleed a lot easier, I'll be honest with you. So I use this and so I'm just going back and it's going to take off that excess amount right in here now if you have really bad cuticles then you may want to let it sit for a little bit longer Normally, I do that. I let them sit for a good five minutes before I start doing this, and then I'll start noticing that it's um, the cuticle starts coming off a little bit. Um, sometimes when I'm in the bathtub, I'll do this in the bathtub. You know, I'm taking my hot bath. I'll give myself a manicure. And then these are called cuticle nippers. 
This is not a real expensive one. Oops. It's kind of inexpensive. I need a new one. As you can tell, it comes undone a little bit. It's hard to go this way, but I'm trying. You can tell I'm already getting cuticle taken off. There we go. I told my husband I need a new one. He said, okay. But see how I'm just barely touching them? When you go to a regular manicurist, they really get in there. Now you can tell right there, see where there was cuticle there? It's gone. I'm taking away some of that. I'm gonna go back into this little water. Now I'm not kind of going fast. I'm not, you know, taking my time. I just wanna give you an idea. And then what I should be doing is going backwards. Always go back on your nail beds. That even helps your cuticles from not um, getting so much of it. It pushes them back. Then I'm going to go ahead and get my, put my paper right here, little hand lotion. I'm going to kind of give myself a little hand lotion. It's not going to be like a massage, like, you know, like what they do. But. Take a little bit of my water. Pretend I took washed my hands and you, this is where you can get a little bit of alcohol and go on top so it's not so dry looking back you look a little bit better <laughs> Not the, not, I'm not a real professional, but it gives you an idea. I'm going to use my Sally Hansen strengthener. Now, I like to let them dry a good five minutes in between. But we won't be able to do that on YouTube during the video. Okay. I'm going to take my new Sally Hansen's Aragon Oil. Okay. And I will put the description of what I'm using. It's got a nice little brush to it. If you look at it, I'll show it to you. It's a nice little brush to it. Pretty impressed with it. So I go from one side, then the middle, and then the other side. And then some people go like this. They can take it to the bottom on the edge, go across. But that's a pretty nice brush. Look at that brush. It covers up the nail polish. I mean, the nail bed pretty good. One thing I did forget to get is the cleanup. They have the little cleanups in case you um, get some polish on your skin. But you can use just a little polish remover with your cuticle uh, stick. You can do that. But I have to admit, it because normally nail polish, you have to go from one side and you go to the middle and then you go to the other side. This like covers up the whole, the whole nail. Now, the other thing I would do with this right now, I would let it sit for like five or ten minutes. And then I would come back and put my second coat. We're going to do that now. I just kind of flip it over if I still have polish on there. And then I kind of just take it and it just kind of like go from one side and just so when I have this big old gump of polish, I have more control. 
flip it over a little bit. And then I will let that sit for like five minutes. <laughs> and then I would use my nail hardener. So you figure what, five minutes, five minutes, that's about 15 minutes, five or 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes, I mean. And then I would use my top coat. And that's that quick dry glass shine top coat. You could tell it's kind of pink because I use this a lot. I take it with me when I get my nails done or my if I do it myself. It really, I feel like it really makes my nail polish last longer. And then I would let that dry. And a lot of times I'll get in my car and if it's still kind of wet from the manicure shop or my hair, if I do it myself, then I would take this little spray and let's say it's dry for like five minutes. I would just shake it and gives a nice little sheen to it, dries them, dries my nail polish, conditions my cuticle, fast drying, professional finish. And that's it. I feel that I can go somewhere. My nails are manicured. If I go work at the store, my nail looks nice. You know, when I'm talking to them and showing the fragrance or showing them my um, the makeup and I'm showing them the product, it looks nice. It looks presentful. I'm going out somewhere. I got them done. How long did it just take me? Just to maybe five or 10 minutes. Yes, it would take a little bit longer because I would really work back the cuticles and stuff. But let's say I was in a hurry. I just did it right now. So it gives you an idea that you we can do a self a home manicure we can give ourselves a home manicure while we're getting our facial done or while we're doing a hair treatment on our hair or we got a facial mask. We can sit down and do this as well for our nails. So, And then I'm going to do this side, but you can tell the difference how this has all the cuticles, how this one has less cuticles. Simple as that. So they're done and I'm letting them dry, <laughs> letting them really dry. But like I was saying, if you get some polish on your, on the skin of your nail, just take a little bit of your acetone or non-acetone um, remover and then just take your cuticle stick or you can take like a little uh, Q-tip and then just take it and just wipe, you know, the area a little bit on the side without, you know, harming your nail polish that you just did, your manicure that you just did. If you put some lotion on in between your, you know, before you put your base coat, your top coat, go wash your hand a little bit, you know, and then come back and kind of towel dry them. And then when you do towel dry your hands, anytime, anything, you know, you, you take a shower, try to always, and I learned this many, many years ago, to push back your cuticles with your towel gently, but it keeps them pushed back a little bit. And a lot of times I forget that. But as I started doing some manicure at home, I start to remember that. I'm like, oh my God, I remember I used to do that. Or I'll read things. I'm like, oh my God, we used to do that. I used to push back my cuticles with the towel. Um, but it's not like a real professional, but they're nice enough that you can go on your date. You can go on your occasion. You can go to work. Your your nails look nice, presentful. You feel good about your nails. You feel good about yourself. That you know you got a new outfit. You put a new color with your outfit. I mean, whatever it is, you gave yourself a manicure, and you can walk out the door and feel good. You know, so that's what this was about today. Um, again, I want to welcome my new subscribers. As you know, I see you as my friends. And I, I always, always grateful for all my original subscribers. And a lot of this came about today is because 
I've been talking to customers and I've been talking to friends and I've been talking to people. And a lot of, a lot of us, a lot of times, blah, a lot of times you talk about things and that comes into my mind. And I'm like, you know, maybe I should talk about that. Today, I have a very good friend. I'm not working today, but she's getting her makeup done. She's learning how to apply makeup. It is with a purchase of what she's purchasing, but she wanted to learn, you know, how do I use skincare? How do the applications work? How do I use my makeup? They still come in for that. And I think I mentioned that before. And that's why I always try to demo. I know my videos are a little bit longer, but I always try to demo because I hear a lot of customers ask that, you know, how do I apply that on? How does that work? And they may come two or three times before they know. So on the technique, and including this. So I want to thank you all for coming today and I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, please subscribe, please like, please share and comments. I love comments and I enjoy all of you and I love you all and thank you so much and always thank you for coming back. All right, home manicure, a spa manicure right in your own house. Have a and I meant to mention, <laughs> You do want to use a cuticle oil. So every night by my bed, I always take a little bit of this and go right around my cuticle each night. It conditions, it softens, and it helps control from my nail bed from splitting on the sides or cracking on the sides because it moisturizes them. A lot of times after you're done with your manicure, you can take them and you can apply your cuticle oil just around. Sometimes when people have acrylics, they put the little cuticle oil around because it conditions them, conditions the nail bed, and it helps control splitting and cracking on your natural nails. So I forgot to mention that. And that's called Mango uh, Magic Cuticle Oil. And I bought that at Sally's. And I think it was, I think, let me check. I think it was $4.39, and I think I mentioned that already before. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. So I'm going to try to put this in <laughs> to say thank you. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.